We were about to embark upon the great pursuit, upon which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you, the hopes and prayers of liberty, loving people everywhere, are with you. That's from a address that General Dwight Eisenhower gave his troops on the eve of D Day. Nine or ten days from now, will be the 75th anniversary of D-Day, otherwise known as Operation Overlord. At this time, I'd like to bring forward BFW Commander Tim Phelps for a few remarks. of those military men and women who have laid down their lives in service to their nation. On every last Monday in May, we find ourselves reflecting on these men and women who bravely risked life and limb in the face of grave danger. We remember those who left the comforts of their home to fight for us and our freedom, but never returned to the one day train to the title of soldier, sailor, airman, coast guardsman, marine, or veteran. We mourned our brothers and sisters in arms the day they left us, and we mourn them now. The men and women who have given their lives in service to this nation are indisputably heroes. When their country called, they answered. Some volunteered, some were unvoluntold. But no matter how they found their way into the ranks of the military, each took it upon him or herself to serve faithfully and to their fullest. This is commendable in a nation where so few among our citizens have donned the uniform and accepted the inherent risks, and this alone makes them hero worthy of remembrance. For some of our veterans, we are unable to pay our respects at a final resting place. There are still more than 82,000 military personnel missing in action from every conflict since World War II. We will never forget them and we will never stop looking to bring them home. Thank you. 